Number 14. Given the equations, find the slope. Okay, 2x minus 7y equals 28. I need to make this y-intercept form. Okay, and there's another way to do this. I'll show you that in a minute. You're going to move the 2x over, so I'm going to have negative 7y equal negative 2x plus 28. I'm going to divide everything by negative 7. So my equation would be y equal 2 over 7x minus 4. My slope would be 2 over 7. Remember also, you could put the y over the, or the b over a. Your slope would be negative, or negative a over b. In standard form, if you put a over b and the negative of that, 2 over a negative 7, the negative of that would also be a positive 2 over 7. Well, you don't have to switch it over here. Now then, we're going to get the list, the slope of this table. So we're going to do y minus y over x minus x. Okay, I got 14 minus 7. So I did 14 minus 7, so I'm going to do 4 minus 2. And I'm going to get 7 over 2. That's my slope. So my slope would be 7 over 2. Now then on this one right here, the slope would go 7 over 2x. And if you notice something here, if you go back to your zero term, you're going to, this is 3 and a half. 1 would be 3 and a half, and 0 would be 0. This right here means you have direct variation. What happens if you divide by y by x every time? You get 3.5, don't you? 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. 14 divided by 4 is 3 and a half. 28 divided by 8 is 3 and a half. And 35 divided by 10 is 3 and a half. This table has direct variation. If the table has direct variation, the slope is also called the constant of variation.